Welcome to The Real Board Loft. I'm Trip Foreman and today we're going to talk about Hydroflex technology and their 3D glassing, vacuum bagging, the supercharger construction, the natural construction, and then their three new glass schedules, Team Light, Apex, and Triple X. Uh, first, talking about Hydroflex and how they build the boards. Uh, all of the Hydroflex boards use their 3D fiberglass, which is a specially engineered glass that only they have access to. Uh, it has three different fiber directions, your two normal fiber directions, and then also a third fiber that hangs down like a root. And then that root fiber, when they vacuum bag the board down, that root gets infused into the blank and creates a much tighter bond from the glass layer to the blank. It prevents delams where your board's either going to delaminate uh, or buckle or break. So by having that root fiber and vacuum bagging the board, it's just creating a much tighter bond between the fiberglass and then the blank, whether it be EPS in the supercharger or your standard PU blank in the natural. So that they start out with that fiberglass and that 3D glass is in both of these constructions, both in the, Hydro, in the Hydroflex supercharger and the Hydroflex natural. Uh, beyond that, they have that vacuum bag technology that's pulling not only a tighter seal from the fiberglass to the blank, but it's also pulling out the extra resin. Whenever you have fiberglass and resin in a board, whether it be polyester or epoxy resin, you have additional resin that you don't need to use once that glass is wetted out. What vacuum bagging does is not only does it infuse that fiber into the blank, but it also pulls the extra resin out of the board so you don't have the added weight that you don't need. It's not giving you any extra strength, it's just making the board heavier and less responsive. So vacuum bagging does two things on these boards, makes them stronger and then also makes them lighter. So with Hydroflex boards, there's two different constructions, three different glassing schedules. You can get each of those three different glassing schedules in each of the two constructions. So we're going to cover the constructions first. The highest end construction that Hydroflex makes, uh, the most tech, I mean it's sp the space age stuff that they have going on, is called the supercharger. And the supercharger starts out with a stringerless EPS blank. So EPS is the like the bead foam. Very, very light. Uh, having it be stringerless makes it very responsive and, and flexy so you can really load the board and have it spring out of the turns. You'll see a, uh, a dark layer on the deck and then also on the bottom running the whole length of the board. That's unidirectional uh, fiberglass that's reinforcing the board. Uh, again, it has that 3D uh, glass that's infused into the blank with the vacuum bagging. And then it also has a vent here where you can adjust the pressure of the board, the internal pressure. So the more pressure that you put inside the board with a, a small pump, the uh, stiffer the board becomes, the less pressure, the more flexible it is. Most people are riding these boards not super pressurized. They're riding them at like one or two pounds of pressure. Uh, standard board, if you were to just pull a normal like PU poly board off the rack, it would be uh, at zero. So it's only a little bit more, but what that does is it makes the board less uh, prone to crushing under your feet, and it also gives the board a little bit more spring out of the turns. And so a board like this without the stringer with that technology of the air inside and having all that load and release out of the turns, it makes it a very, very lively board in and out of the turns. And it also makes it incredibly light, um, even at the mid-level or the upper level uh, glass schedules. So that's the supercharger technology. A lot of people get completely freaked out uh, by the, the valve and the board, thinking that they're gonna have to pump up their board every time they uh, go surfing, kind of like a kite boarder has to pump up his kite. But what you'll find is you'll, you'll find that pressure that you like, whether it be one or two or one and a half, and then you'll basically never use the pump again. You'll just put the cap on the valve and it'll just become your normal surfboard. Um, the construction itself holds up really well. And at such a light, responsive board, you, you, you would be used to the board being disposable, but it actually holds up. Like I have a, a bottom feeder, a 510 bottom feeder that I've had for two full seasons. And it's still one of my best boards uh, as far as the deck holding up and I've been wailing on the thing and really not even taking all that good care of it and it just keeps holding up. So that's testament that something this light can, uh, can also be that durable as well. So that's the supercharger technology. Uh, if you want to look for something a little bit more up the alley of being something that you're used to, uh, then you want to look at the, the natural tech. Uh, the natural tech starts out with the same uh, PU stringer stringered blank like what you would have on a PU poly board. So it's going to have that same damp internal feel like what your poly board has. But then it uses that 3D rooted glass and the vacuum bagging and epoxy resin, just like the exterior of the supercharger, uh, on top of that PU blank with the stringer on it. So the core of the board is exactly 
uh, what the core of the board is on your normal PU poly board. It's just that they use the 3D rooted glass and that vacuum bagging and epoxy resin to make a board that's significantly stronger, uh, that can bend further without delaminating and can bend further without breaking. Um, the benefit of having this board over the exact same board with the exact same blank with polyester resin and no vacuum bagging is that you end up with a board again that's lighter and also stronger. So if you're, if you're riding in a place, this is a Lost Mini Driver and you can see it's got a nice nice rounded pintail which is going to hold up better and hold in better in uh, bigger, rounder, more powerful waves. And in those type of waves, you're, you're more prone to be breaking boards. So this type of construction is nice because it's going to hold the board together for longer uh, against the deck falling apart and then also against D-lambs, uh, little buckles, and then obviously the board breaking in half. So that is the natural tech. And that's probably the more popular of the two. Uh, one for price and then also two just because it doesn't have that valve which again uh, you know sometimes freaks people out although they shouldn't really get freaked out about it because it's actually a, a big benefit to have the ability to, uh, to tune the flex and then also keep the dents from happening in the board. But both of them are great. We've got the supercharger and the natural uh, from Hydroflex. Now to go over their new glass schedules because this has been a big area of confusion uh, with the boards this year is that each of these constructions supercharger and the natural is available in three different glass schedules so typically um, if you were to order a custom board a standard custom board you could get it in a team glassing and a standard glassing and then in an extra durable glassing the team glassing being the lightest the standard glassing being the standard and the uh, extra durable glassing being you know if you have really heavy feet and you just wanted your board to last for a real long time so with Hydroflex are doing the same thing this year. Uh, each of these two construction types is available in three glass schedules. They have Team Life, which is what they're uh, putting all their team riders on. Um, it is the lightest of the constructions. The deck, the deck will dent on those boards. Uh, so if you have a hard time emotionally with the, the deck of your board being all dented up, it's not something you want to look at. But if you do want a board that is the lightest, most responsive, uh, and just really really grippy on your feet like where the board's not flying away because it's so heavy the team light is the definitely the schedule to look at as far as the glassing weights um, it still will be stronger than a standard PU poly board but it will dent on the deck because they're not building the boards to be uh, dentless on the deck so the team light that's the most responsive the lightest uh, what a lot of the top pros are riding and a lot of the team riders and also for if you're gonna be using a board for a year or two max and you want to get the most responsive board you could possibly get you want to look at team light glassing uh, the standard glass uh, for Hydroflex is called the Apex, and you can see the Apex logo right here. Apex is the standard glass. This you're going to get more uh, deck durability. It's going to hold up longer against heel dents on the deck. Uh, obviously, like as far as uh, delamming, buckling, or breaking the board, it'll be even stronger. But the biggest difference you're going to feel is um, if you want to have a deck that holds up for a significant longer period of time, two seasons, three seasons, then you want to be looking at the Apex uh, glass schedule. Um, the third and the most durable is called Triple X, and this is reserved for the heaviest footed, footed surfers or the most destructive surfers, or the, it's also the standard for what kite surfers are using on their kite surf boards. Uh, that, that glass schedule, Triple X, is gonna give you the most durability uh, against denting and on the deck, because in, in kiting or in really harsh surfing, like you're just hammering on the deck of the board quite a bit, so it's gonna give you the most durability and, and structural integrity on the deck of the board uh, and also wrapped around the rails against airs and, and breaking the board. So if you find yourself breaking a lot of your surfboards either from airs or from kite surfing on them, the triple X is the glass schedule that you want to look at. All of the logos, you're going to see the Team Light has a blue logo with one bar. Uh, the Apex has a green logo with two bars and then the triple X has an orange logo with three bars. All of those logos are, are just representing that the glass, you're getting uh, a heavier glass cloth and then also more layers of it. So it's not Apex 2, that's just the logo that they came up with. It would be either the natural in Apex or the supercharger in Apex or the supercharger in Team Light or the natural in Team Light or the supercharger in Triple X. You want to do your construction first, how the board's actually built and then your glass schedule second in, in describing these boards. They put together a really good product line and I think uh, you know, by having the different glass schedules it really uh, enables you to, uh, to tailor the board to each surfer, uh, not only for the, for the board they're looking at but also how they're going to use it and how often they're going to use it and how long 
they want, want it to last. You're gonna find that most stock boards are gonna be in the apex because that satisfies the majority of the market, uh, but you will see some grovelers in Team Light and you will see a lot of kite surf boards in Triple X. So that's a wrap on Hydroflex technology and the constructions. We talked about the supercharger construction, then also the natural construction. And with each of these boards, you have the choice of Team Light, Apex, and Triple X glass schedules. If you have any questions about either the technologies or the glass schedules, just be sure to post a comment at the bottom of this news item. We'll be glad to help you out. Thanks again for joining us. Have a good time in the water.